free download Friday. Trantendo. What is going on? DJ I have here free download Friday. Smash that like button, boy. What we have here is Nano Studio, and the link will be in the description box. Man, and what it is is a DAW, uh, a free one, of course, free, fully working, and it's for Windows and Mac and iOS. Boy, is it time for me to get an iPad. Holy crap. And the reason why I say such things is because this is pretty darn good. I had a bit of a struggle trying to figure this thing out, but hey, I'm here. So it does have a lot of stuff going for it. Of course, you can you have like drum pads and then you got sampling, sequencer and mastering and all that. But again, let's go to the download section here. As you can see, the Windows and Mac version here, Mac version Windows. Uh, it is 32 bit though, but I'm on 64 bit Windows and it works for me. So, yeah, you guys will be fine. And then, of course, you know, if you want it for your iOS device, you can download it there in the App Store. You lucky freaking guys, you damn it. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and get into this DAW here. I'm just going to go no delay. As you can see, it looks really good. Uh, I can't remember the total amount of tracks that you get. I think it might be 15. I could be wrong. Uh, however, you can use a MIDI controller with this. All you have to do is go into your manager here and then go into your MIDI settings and then enable your MIDI controller that is available to you. I have not tested this with the Push 2, but I'm, I assume that it might work very well with this. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so... What I'm going to do here is I'm going to load in a project file because you guys definitely want to know that. Here is your project settings here. And, of course, once you're done and whatnot, laying it out, you can mix it down. Cool, right? So I am going to go and select a load. And I'm not going to save uh, this previous project here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to access this demo folder. I'm going to pull up this drum and bass demo. So I'm going to hit this load button right here. And as you can see, pretty nice and colorful here. Let's see how it sounds, or let's hear how it sounds. Ooh. Ooh. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was quite shocked <laughs> of how good the quality of this is. Man. So, major shout out to Nano Studios. This is really good. Um, now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go into manage here. I'm going to go and select new. I'm not going to save that anything to that. I'm just going to go ahead and I, I guess I'll just type in the av, av project here and then now, what you see in front of us now is the... Uh, you see that you have the Trigger 16 or Trig 16, which are your performance pads. Uh, now, I'm just going to select and be boring as hell and do 808, of course. And I'm not going to save anything to that because, yeah. So now uh, you can adjust the BPM right here. I'm going to adjust it to like 96 or something like that. And you have the time signature. If you want to set it to anything wonky, that's fine. I'll do 4-4 four, four because that will do for me. Uh, of course, you have loop points and stuff like that. You can adjust your loop points by just going to your song, going to song right here. As you can see, you can adjust the loop point and stuff like that. And I believe it snaps to grid. And you have quantizing right here and the quantizing works well. I'll tell you that one sixteenth will do for me, especially at this BPM. Now you have uh, click and it's on record click so if i was to press play it will not do anything because i'm not recording uh, you do have to double tap the rewind button so it'll go to the beginning of the song that is kind of annoying but i'll deal with it it's a free freaking daw so you get a pre-count let's get that pre-count and let's go Yep. 
Let's add some hats in this mother flugger. something to go here all right this is where it gets a little tricky i i, I feel that this daw is meant for a, a certain kind of uh, for like ios uh, for these these the uh, i can't talk <laughs> oh my god <laughs> anyways let's get back to this <laughs> oh shucks so the first thing that I want, you have to get to this, this is the menu button right here and uh, tap and hold. It will pull up this right here. Uh, as you can see, um, I'm going to go ahead and just put it on MIDI 5 or whatnot, which it won't do anything because I have my MIDI controller set to uh, the MIDI input one. So, or it might be an all and this selects the nearest one. Uh so now that I have that done, I don't think I have to save that. Yeah, cool. So now I'm going to access this right here and I got to double tap this or tap once. And now I'm going to select Eden. And now <laughs> this is where the really cool stuff comes in here. Um, you can rename it or whatnot. I'm, I'm not going to rename it. I'm just going to exit out because I already have access to a MIDI controller. Uh, this specific thing right in front of us right now, and I think I said Pacific, forget y'all. I know how y'all feel about me doing that. But uh, this is where you have presets and stuff like that, of course. As you got leads. Uh, if you do notice, if you bring your attention to this bottom left part of the screen right here, uh, you see that you can select different uh like one touch chords as you can see that's like extremely popular now and i think that would make it more useful because i mean if you was on ios and you didn't have a if you was on like an ipad and you didn't have like a midi controller it would be kind of tedious to be able to play chords but i don't know because i don't know anyways yeah this is pretty good uh going so far here i'm gonna see if i'm gonna Sorry, I was actually playing around with it. I actually really like this. As you can see, you can mess with like the different X and Y pad parameters. And it's really cool. It's, it's, it's freaking awesome. And if I'm not mistaken, it does have automation in here. So I like that. So what I'm gonna do next then, since I have everything in there, I guess we can just go ahead and make sure that, you know, press the rewind button so that the cursor will all be at the beginning of the beat on the one and get that pre-count, of course.
Okay, so now that, that we have that in here, what, what can I do to mix? Well, you simply just go to your mixer, right? Of course, you can mute, solo. So it's pretty functional. Uh, you do have two sins that you can work with. I might just adjust one of the sins though. And on one of the sins you have hall. Of course, you can select other things like cathedral. And then you can add more effects, of course, and I'm not going to do that. Uh, what I'm going to do now, so I'm going to stop the track here. Make sure it's on the one uh, by hitting the rewind button on the transport or yeah, transport. Yep. Said it right. <laughs> uh, and now I'm going to uh, double tap and hold. And I'm going to set the MIDI channel import. You might not have to do that. You can just set, set it on your, set the MIDI ports on your MIDI controller, of course. Uh, the MIDI input channel, that is. And now I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that. And I'm going to select another Eden. Eden is awesome. Oh, oops. And let me go back to Eden real quick. Uh, double tap on Eden. Pull it up. Select one. Now, from there, I'm probably going to do like a, I'm probably going to do like a lead or something like that. Now, from here, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that that menu closes up, of course, and let's select a lead. Uh, oh, do I still have it on uh, solo? Yeah, I'm an idiot. Don't worry about that. But, uh, of course, now I'm going to go in uh, to Eden again. Whoa. looking for a sound. I guess I'll roll with that and let's record some. Let's go. I don't trust uh, anything I do while I was doing that uh, weird thing with the record, so I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> stop it. We are fully in the 80s, baby. Electro.
So that's basically about it. I really enjoyed this. Uh, once again, thank you, Cello Word, for pointing this out. This is an amazing treat, especially I can only imagine if you had this like on iPad. This will probably be hella fun just to play with like while you're on the road or even just have a little scratch session or whatever. Oh man. This is good. Yeah. But anyways, guys, that is about it there. I am DJ F. And thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. The link is in the description box for more Nano Studio. Go get it, guys. Drones, please. Trap Techno.